Well, well, Dick Dirk of the Royal Lance from the Earth. Oh, what the hell? Hell, um, fancy meeting you here, Underpants Pat. Oh, howdy, Dick Dirk of the uh, British Royal Lanceliers. That's right, I'm Dick Dirk of the British Royal Lanceliers. Well, I happen to be on vacation. Where, what are you doing out here? Oh, um, thanks for asking. I happen to be on vacation out here uh, in the Old West. Pioneer Dick. Oh, shit. Uh, ow! Ow! Oh, my God. I happen to be vacationing out here in the Old West. Um, looking for a, a place to have a coffin made. Oh, really? A place to have a cof coffin made? Are you not feeling too well, underpants pad? Uh, no, I just like to be prepared. I'm uh, a lot of rackets conservative and like to be... No, you're not. You can't. You're not. You're on vacation and you're wearing underpants. Well, you got all this underpants. How can you be a conservative? Uh, oh, I got a nice haircut. Okay. Um. Oh, you're always holding your big gun, Royal Dick of the Royal Lanceliers. I know. I got everywhere I go. I'm armed. I'm, I got a concealed carry permit, but I like to carry. I like to carry open, concealed open. I don't know what that means. Uh, they also make furniture here. I'm here for the recliners. That's right. The old pioneer recliners made out of bent sticks and barbed wire. Oh my God! Bent sticks and barbed wire. Uh, furniture really was not very comfortable back in the old pioneer days. That's right. That's right. They didn't make recliners and coffins and shit for dead people in the same place. Oh, oh that's right. Um, what else, who else is here? Oh, look. It's, it's baby Jesus. Baby Jesus is here on vacation, too, at the furniture and undertaking uh, old pioneer shop. Oh, that's right. Why do you think baby Jesus is here? Well, he's here because uh, there's a lot of dead people around here. and uh, Dead people like to see Jesus after they die. That's right. They like to see... Uh, that's not baby Jesus' voice. I can't. I can't make... I can't make his voice. It's not... Uh, so they... So they come here and... They come here and... Oh, no! Oh, no, I feel like dancing. Dancing, dancing, dancing machine! Watch me get down, doop, 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 doop. Shut up. Okay, I'm gonna shut... You shut up. Oh, I see you're wearing shoes. That's right, can you see the shoes? There they are. There's my shoes, can you see them? Yes, I can. Oh! Oh, God, oh, no. That's, that's not right. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I'm tripping all over my rifle now. Oh, jeez. Oh, my hands are all cramped and everything. That's not bad. Whoa, look at that big gun. There you go. That's right. Oh my god, let me take a look at that big gun. Stop it. You're you're saying the wrong the wrong things. This is it's all too suggestive for me what you, what's going on here. That's right. That's right. Okay. That's it. Um, I'm leaving. I'm going on vacation somewhere else. That's right, I, I put my order in for my recliner, and, uh, oh my god, my pants have come unbuttoned. Why the hell, how did that happen? Your pants are unbuttoned. That's right, they're unbunched. And they're not wearing any underwear either, not like you anyway. Cutting that part out, that was really bad. Okay. There goes Jesus, he's leaving too. He's out of the picture now. Well, I'm going to leave me all alone here. I just try to make... Get him to make me a coffin that's like 29 times bigger than the coffins on display on the front porch. It's going to cost me a fortune. Oh, God. There you go. That, that's the end of that part. Okay. How is me, the new somewhat less manic mark? Coming to you from the bunker system located underneath the Artville. I found some of the jungles of the Midwest. And thanks to the people out there that have asked me to do stuff with art, but still not doing stuff with art. Why? Because I'm busy. I have to. I had. To, I'm still doing this. This is about as close as I can get to art as possible. I don't know what you call this. 
Oh, geez. Anyway, um, well, I'm here. I'm here with the stock. I didn't think I was going to get any records, so I got records. I thought, hey, um, what are you going to do? Why don't you make a video? Okay, so I made a video, including the, um, uh, what did I call it? The somewhat inappropriate Playhouse Theater or uh, not that all that correct Playhouse Theater or somebody's bound to get ang upset at what I just just done I okay let's uh, start with the record so I have any stories I've only got one story so I was out today uh, and it's, the traffic was heavy I don't know why it was heavy and I'm out in the shopping area because that's you know I go to the store half price books is right there so I decided to drive all the way down in front of the storefronts to get over to PetSmart, so to go to PetSmart. So that takes me a long time. I probably should have went out to the light to turn left, but that takes such a long time for that light to change. So I decided to go, but everybody's walking across the street. Like, I own, I own, it's a store, so I own, you, I don't even have to look at you. You're supposed to just, stop, you're supposed to pay attention to me and stop. Well, I do, okay. So I get into PetSmart, I'm walking around, Smart. Pet smart, and I'm walking around. I always go to the discount uh, rack all the way in the back because the dogs don't complain. The food's really good that I get from the discount rack, and I, and I get it's, okay. So I, there was some good stuff there. Anyway, so I turn around, and there's a guy standing behind me. He looks crazy. He looks out of his mind, and he's holding a stack of coupons. And I'm looking at his shirt, and he's like this guy just wandering the store with coupons. I think they let him in there. I think it was from Science Hill or something like that. Uh, you know, like probably, a, I don't know how they contract guys to go walk at PetSmart and give away coupons. But he was like, hey, would you like a coupon for some dog food? You can get $3 off. And when you go to the register, they'll take, uh, they'll give you a $10 coupon or something like that. I don't want to, I don't want to, well, I'm in, I'm shopping, I don't want to have to figure something else out, okay? So I'm buying discount food, that's probably why I get, well, if you're buying discount dog food, you probably want to buy our dog food at a discount. So I'm thinking, no, what, I check coupons, I don't care, I got my discount dog food, I go up, I'm holding on to it, I get in and check it out, and the cashier says, well, are, are you going to use the coupons? I said, well, no, it's for science. She goes, well, I can give them out to people when they come through on the checkout line. So apparently they were in fact good coupons and why they didn't have any at the checkout since the, the guy was in the store wandering around with them. Apparently a rep from Science Diet. I don't know. Anyway, she was just like thrilled to be able I'll be here. I'm gonna be here till five o'clock. Like, okay. And I'll have a chance to give them all out. Oh anyway. So then so then I got to go through, negotiate all this traffic to get to Myers, which is only two blocks away. But you stop at the light, and the light is red for five minutes, then it turns, and then you can't, if you're not like five or six cars in line, you have to wait again. So I'm waiting at the light, right at the light, because the guy in front of me was like, hey, let me drive your car. Anyway, so I make the turn, and this woman, in there, so you know, people are stacking up on this. I'm in the left lane there, and the right lane, both turns. They're stacking up, even though the turn they want to get to is right in front of me. So the woman jams on her gas and makes a screeching turn and swerves in front of me to make the turn. I'm like, you. I should be more calm after yoga, but I'm not. Okay, so we park. I park. I always park far away because I don't want to be around anybody, <laughs> right? So I park away. So I'm. So I'm going to get my put my groceries in my truck. Nobody bothers me like the guy last week that I didn't tell you about, did I? I don't know if I did. Excuse me if I tell this story over again. I don't care. It's my video. Here you go. So I'm putting the groceries in my cart, and I see this guy walk up. Like I said, I, I park away from things. So this guy's kind of out, not in the middle of exactly nowhere, but it's farther. And he's walking up, and he's I see him walking towards me. I'm like, you know... Put, and he comes up and he puts his hand on my cart. I don't have all the groceries out yet. I have like four or five bags in the cart. I'm looking up. I look finally look at him like what? And he goes, "Well, I just take this cart if it's okay. It's kind of windy out today." And I'm like, "Um, yeah, I guess you know, the cart could could just blow around or something." It, 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 but I, I got five bags of groceries to put in my car. Why are you bothering me? <laughs> 
that's okay. Usually, I'll do that. I'll say, are you done with the card? But usually people are actually done with the card. Okay, so back to the other story. So the lady, you know, right in front of me, zipping, turns right in front of somebody else oncoming traffic. I go, so I get in the lot I'm, and I, I grab a cart from in front of the store, and just as I'm making a turn to go in the store, here comes that damn same lady pushing that cart right in front of me like I'm not even there. Oh, she's like the very short woman. And it just, um, probably really angry because she's who she was. I don't know. It doesn't have anything to do with being short. I have to cut that part out. Short had nothing to do with it. Anyway, now should I go to the records? Ha! Why not? I didn't think I was going to get records today, then I got records. The first record I'm going to. Uh, uh, <coughs> hold up is Royal. A Royal, which is usually a horrible label. It's a 10 inch. 12 inch, 10 inch. It's a 10 inch. On a horrible label, Royal. It's the Herman Shit and Son. Shit and Shit and Son. It's got to be British. Soft winds. Ah, oh, I bet this will calm me down. Cocktail time. Soft winds. Get happy. Probably won't play anything from this. Although I probably should. And just under it. Speaking of calming yourself down on Melody House, this is a real budget label. It's quiet time. Music for resting, relaxation, or enjoyable listening. I want to rest and I want to relax, but damn it if I'm interested in your enjoyable listening, right? It's either or, resting, relaxing, or enjoyable listening. The resting and relaxing is not enjoyable whatsoever. And there, there's the artist on the back. Har Harrell C. Lucky. That's right, Harrell C. Lucky. Violins, viola, viola, cello, piano, guitar. Musical arrangements and production. Rainbows by H.C. Lucky. Oh my god, he wrote his own song. I uh, probably have to share that one, but I bet I won't. Why not? Because there's still more records to go through that probably have something going for them. The Art of Belly Dancing. I picked this up. I don't think I have it, but I don't. I can't remember. Anyway, one of the one of the um, tracks on the record is called Hip Thrust and Vibration. I bet that's good. And now this is the most amazing thing that happened to me all week. <laughs> At Half Price Books with this thin stack of records, how did I manage to find? The mono and a stereo version of, oh, I'm losing the record out of that one. A mono and stereo version of The Twist by The Candyman. Uh, the, co the, the, the covers are sh just slightly cropped, slightly the types have been pushed around to accommodate the stereo. The words uh, diplomat stereo, as though somehow that's different than just regular stereo. Anyway, it's a great cover. It's a graphically pleasing, interesting cover. And I think I've already got it. Maybe the Candyman, the same record on some other with some other uh, band name attached to it. I don't know. Anyway, it's the Evangelist Bud Robinson. Amazing Grace. Picked it up because it's on Wright Records. That's local. Oh, there he is on the back. I wouldn't count it out. It's probably going to be horrible. It's going to be all horrible singing like this. Actually, I would prefer it sounded like that. That's probably going to sound like more like Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved. A wretch like me I once was lost But now I'm found Was blind But now I see Was grace 
that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears really how precious did that grace appear the hour I first believe Amazing grace How sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me I once was lost but now I'm found was blind but now I see I've got this one in the pile upstairs I haven't even listened to yet, and now I have another one. Why, Manic Mark? Well, this one happened to be saved. Um, somebody put it in a plastic sleeve, which I hate, because they always get crumpled up and tear the, the jacket. But, nonetheless, a plastic is kind of like an anti-static sort of magical um, sleeve for records and keeps records pretty darn clean, free of dust, more or less. Uh, an early epic, Tango's of the continent. I almost couldn't type, I just almost couldn't figure it out. But it's a nice, uh, it's a nice uh, cover graphic um, there. And there's a cover of uh, Jalouise. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Anyway. Okay. Now speaking of type treatments that, that aren't very good, it's this. I had, to, I had to study it for a while to figure out what the hell. It looks like a tattoo you see sometimes on the back of guy's arms and you can't read it because it's written in like Black Sabbath type or something like that. Then my soul sings. Then sings my soul. See, you can read it a number of ways. And just in case you needed to have it interpreted for you, there it is on the back in a typeface. It isn't quite so horrible as the Black Sabbath typeface. Anyway, and also on the back, there's the artist Earl. Earl Kantz. I bet this is horrible too. Mm. And speaking of horrible, this is probably going to be horrible. It's Molly O'Day with Lynn Davis and the Cumberland Mountain folks. I bet she doesn't dress like that every day. That's just set up photograph to fool people into buying a record. Like, hey, you're Molly Davis. You're a real mountain woman there. You're sitting with the banjo on a rocking chair in front of the fireplace with your old get up there. I believe that you're... Anyway, 1975... Shorty Rogers plays Richard Rogers. There's Shorty, although you can't really tell how short he is because there's no nothing to other than the horn. With the horn, though, he doesn't look that short. So they must call him Shorty for some other reason. Anyway, 1957. There he is on the back, lighting himself up a cigarette on the back cover. It's Shorty Rogers and his Giants, by the way. I should point that out. So apparently everybody that played with him were like basketball players or something. I don't know. American Jazz, Jim Kukulums. I think this is uh, um, from the song titles, I think, Black. I don't know. I, uh, I was going to say, uh, never mind. And last but not least, I'm very happy to get this it, just because of the cover. And I probably have to feature it, but I probably want to feature something else, and not this at the end, so... I may have to stick this part, I may have to cut this part out and stick it somewhere in the middle of the video so that I can feature something from this, even though this is the better cover. And the last thing I hold up, the thing I play as a sample, is not going to be this, because I don't think it's going to be any good. Nonetheless, the cover is fabulous. It's Tom and Glenn at the Naves! The Knaves Cafe, Tom and Glenn, at the Knaves Cafe, they're wearing um, Knave outfits, that's right. Um, 
I think they do a lot of comedy. They're out of Columbus, Ohio. There they are in the back. They're wearing funny hats and they got goofy smiles on their faces. So they're doing comedy. I know about that. <laughs> oh my God. There are songs on here like West Side Story. If you can believe that. What else is on here that's any good? I don't think anything. <laughs> Mar Mariah, Mariah, Maria, Mariah, and the winds. Anyway, I'm not doing art anymore. That's what I said. Did I say that at the beginning? I'm not doing art. I got to cut some some people asking me to do art for shows and stuff, and I haven't done anything. I did one thing in about in a year, and I'm just not. I just don't. I don't have. Uh, maybe because I'm uh, 60 almost. Not quite. Um, I just completely just need to do other things now. Not like, sort of like there's pressure, but yeah, should I even talk about this in this video? Oh, is, is art and um, like uh, uh, versus art and, and art therapy versus uh, doing other art, which isn't therapy. Okay, I think I was always doing art as therapy. Except when I was doing art to make money, which was still art therapy. Unfortunately, that's the wrong way to make money, is to do art therapy while you're trying to make money, because you're just going to get really upset. And you're going to need more therapy, probably not art therapy. That's the other thing. Is art therapy really therapy, or is it just compounding the problems that you have? Because it takes a lot of energy, and I think it just it makes you all frustrated and everything. So, what would you do? Well, I would do yoga. That's right. So, now i got to tell this story about yoga class. That's right. Uh, it was um, easy yoga. And I don't know, some of the guys uh, d stopped going. Okay, so I was in there today, and there were like 20 women. There was me, Manic Mark, and there was another guy that I know he's been in class, and he went and set his mat out, but before the class started, he rolled his mat up, and he went, and he left. It was so weird. I don't know why he did it. Anyway, so the, um, the easy yoga class last Wednesday night, um, uh, there was another guy in the class, a young guy, and I call him Spongebob Squarepants because he's a hulking, upper sort of squarish um, figure, and then he has short legs, and he wears the long, you know, young guy uh, basketball shorts, so it makes his legs look even shorter. He's got small feet for how big he is up here. He's got kind of a goatee. And, and tattoos, you know, like kind of like a biker dude that looks like SpongeBob SquarePants with short legs and small feet. Uh, so he's so he's he and I are in the back. I like to get in the back because I can kind of see over and I position the man, and I don't need to be up front anymore. I can kind of get uh, what's going on without having to be close to instructor in, uh, in the back, right? So, but the class was light that evening, so I put my mat up when she started half up a row, um, so she wouldn't feel like everybody was not, you know. You know, she was there all alone, the instructor, so I put my mat up, which left Spongebob square pants in the back row. So halfway through all the routines we're doing, we're doing some stretchy thing where you got to spread your ass cheeks apart. He lets this, like, giant fart. I, oh. And it was just, the music was quiet, and it was, it was a wet fart, too, on top of the whole thing. It just wasn't like a little poop, dry, kind of like, no, it was like a big sort of, like, thumping, wet, so I was glad I had moved my mat up to the middle of the room because most of the women around me could see that it wasn't me. Otherwise, they would have turned around and they would have looked and I would have had to point to him. He would have pointed to me and there would have been a dispute over the ownership of the fart. And then the woman right in front of me was this, this woman. She's probably in her 40s and she's, I can tell she's a very proper lady and I'm just, I just had cringe because I just thought she must be cringing inside. But I didn't want to look at her. Because I knew if she looked at me, then she would know that I heard the fart, and she would know that um, I was seeing her respond to the same, and then she would have been embarrassed on top of all of it. So I just, nobody said a word. They just, it just, as if though the fart didn't exist in class, all right? Um, I kind of like, I kind of like, like dipped my head and smiled a little bit just because I, I could, I had to, you know. So the new guy, SpongeBob SquarePants, he really needs to work on his core strength because that's why you work on core strength in yoga. 